Hello and welcome to this small presentation where I'll be showing you how to set up your environment for the final exam, the lab exam, of course. Okay, so I'll be showing this using Visual Studio Code. You can use any other IDE, Eclipse, but you'll have to look up online how to set up JUnit for that IDE. For my case, I do recommend that you use Visual Studio Code. Okay, so the steps are very easy. First, download and install Visual Studio Code. The second step, you have to add a plugin for Java called Extension Pack for Java. The third step, you'll have to import the project. Then you have to activate the tests, then test your code, code the solution, then test your solution. So let's do the first one, download and install Visual Studio Code. To do that, just go to any web browser, look uh, for uh, Visual Studio Code, and start it. The second step, install the plugin extension pack for Java. Just copy this extension pack, go to this extensions, copy paste it, and wait for Java to give you the plugin, the extension. It's this one. For my case, I already installed it. So you don't have to install it again. I don't have to install it again. For you, see an install button here, click on it. Okay, now once this thing is installed, you have to import the project. To import the project, go to File, Open, Folder, and then you just go to the folder that I will give you during the exam. For this case, I sent you per email a folder so that you can practice on it. Just click on it, it's this one, lab eval, and click on select folder. Okay, once you click on it, you're gonna see some loadings going on here. Wait for a few seconds for Java to load everything, and that's it. So in this project, you're gonna see two packages. We have for, for the main command and IGE, and the other is testcom.ige. This one is for the test. Don't write your code here, don't touch this code. All you have to do is run this code. That's it. But your solutions, you have to write them in this in this in this in this uh, file, like lab eval. You're gonna see some functions like this, and then you're gonna see uh, some comments which are here, and you'll have to write your code only between these two lines. Don't write your code outside these two lines. Don't modify lab eval. Don't modify the name of the variable. Don't modify the parameters. Uh, don't make this one private. Don't touch uh, anything that is outside of this. Okay, so when you write your code, only write your code inside these two lines. Okay, that's the only thing that you have to do. Now to test your code, we're using JUnit. So JUnit is a library that you can use, that you can download from the web. It's just a jar file that you have to download. So the test we'll be using is org.junit.jupyter. Okay, so here Java is complaining, it doesn't know from where to get this package. So you know what the package is. A package contains a set of classes. So in our case, we don't have this package, so we'll have to get it from somewhere. So in JUnit, to get this package, just go to this button when you see testing, click on it, and then click on enable test Java. It will recommend you like three testing tools. For our case, we're gonna use JUnit Jupyter. Click on JUnit, wait for Java to download, for Visual Studio Code to download it, and then you can test your code. As you can see, test libraries have been downloaded into lib. If we go back to our code, we're gonna see a new folder called lib. Inside this lib, this is our jar. The, the classes are inside this jar. So all of, these, all of these files that you are seeing here comes from this jar. Now it's great. Now the last thing you need to do is to test your code. To test it, just go to the test. For example, check in reverse signed. Check if you see the code here. We are testing this method. I can just click on this. Uh, check sign. I click on it and then the test will start. Okay, as you can see, zero off to the two tests passed. So this one is wrong, this one is wrong. So I have to write some code here to make it work. Now to correct this function, it's easy. This function must reverse the sign of A. If it is positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. The only way to solve this or the best way to solve it is just to do this. Since you are putting A inside the result, you have to make result become negative. I have to put minus A and then I will return the result. Save the result, run the test again, 
and everything is green. Perfect. Now the tests are gone, so this function is solved. You just go to the next method in the exam. So in the, ex in the exam, you get a folder called lab test. Inside of it, you're going to find the lab uh, eval where you'll be writing your function and a lab test that you can test on this. And that's it, and good luck for the exam.